So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 15 rounds, Bantamweights meeting up. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Good return fire that time. Who do you think has the mental edge in a matchup like this, a boxer versus brawler? Well, it depends how it starts. You know, if the boxer can start and he can control landscape, he can be on the outside getting his way, getting a little cooperation where the brawler's walking into his punches and then tie up on the inside, he has the advantage. Good block by Golden. Golden showing you a little defensive skill there. I'm able to move away from that punch. That's what I like to see. A nice block by Golden. this round here. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. You see him holding on. Gets rid of that body shot. That's okay. Pay him back. Not able to land the uppercut. Is a big right hand after eating one himself. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Relax. 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 You're taking a beating. Come on. What's going on? We need to win more rounds. We gotta do something. You won that round, all right? You won that. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. 
uppercuts. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. He just missed that shot up top. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Halfway through round number two. And here he goes again with the clinching. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. A solid uppercut by Golden. Well off the mark by Golden. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. seconds <laughs> this round comes to an end and Teddy easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches now he was throwing them up but he wasn't landing a lot is that because of his opponent's defense or is he just not that accurate of a puncher no it's a combination first of all his opponent is pretty slick in there pretty good at bobbing weaving a little bit slipping a little bit making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. We're not winning this fight right now. Let's turn this around. And round number three is underway. Defense just covering up down low. Double jab right to the face. He missed with that headshot. There you go. Golden's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good block by Golden. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Golden.
blocks away that headshot. Nice block by Golden. Not an accurate hook at all. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Finish with a hook. Well, he's trying to keep up a heck of a work rate here. Golden's punching himself out at this point. Yeah, and that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is going to be if his opponent notices. You're not winning this fight, okay? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? More than one. Keep on him. Don't give him a chance to set his feet and get any punches off. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, uh, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. Locks that belt line well. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old-time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part, making the guy miss. Now he has to start doing the fun part, hitting him. That's OK, that's go. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Halfway through round number four. And he ties up on the inside. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Golden's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Carries that punch intended for the head. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Wow, look at that trading shots. Seconds to go in the fourth. Hey, hey, let's go. Beautiful. Nice movement there. Keep that up. Keep moving.
Let's go. ¿Qué estás esperando? What are you waiting? You want this fight? Then let's get moving up. This guy is going to win this fight if you don't take control, sir. with a double jab up top. Nice strike after catching one by Golden. Blocked there by Golden. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Good way to protect the midsection. Golden way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Able to dismiss that body shot. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. He engages in the clinch. Still not moving enough. Oh, well, Accuracy and issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Shake it off. Wow, is he defensively sound? to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Not what he was looking for, that's a miss right there by Golden. Losing this fight, I need you to take some chances. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. You gotta watch the water in the corner. You got corner. to pick up the speed, all right? Pick up the speed. Okay, listen, you can throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. Listen, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up that jab and finish off with the hook. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Oh, he is stunned, he could go down. Oh, he's hurt right, what a big shot. He goes down, he has so much time now, he's gonna be forced to survive. to prepare for a situation like this. 
but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. through round six. Not able to land the headshot. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shot. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You jab it at the head, you're not fighting nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Whoop, whoop. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Golden is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Throw the lead right hand. Winning this fight. Jab your way. Okay. Whatever you do, throw that jab. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them, and he's responding just that way. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Well, we've seen the complete opposite, Teddy. We've seen fighters that when they've been knocked down, they become desperate or they completely close the door and get overly cautious. This fighter is fighting the same way he's ever fought. Yeah, and that's either going to be a good or a bad thing. That's the confidence that he's going to get it right, that he understands himself, that he's not going away from his game, from his fight, or he's going to pay an awful penalty for it because his opponent is going to pick up on that predictability and he's going to keep banging him with the same, same reason. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. That's it, just like that. Not 
hitting his mark there going upstairs. Blocks it away. Gotta see that go in. Let's go. Nice block by Golden. Golden's well off the mark that time. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Three minutes gone by in this round. This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that again. Relax, relax. Take deep breaths. You're doing fine. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him this round. We open up round number eight with a look at Teddy's scorecard. One guy up, the other guy fading. Well, the way it's going right now, Joe, he's doing enough. Just enough to lose. Not much action as he just ties up. Question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up. How does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. The halfway point of round number eight. What a great job! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Golden. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, "Go ahead." I think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. You're doing great! Get after him! down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. I like the way he looked at the end of that round. It looks like he's gaining some momentum here. Good competitive fight. And I do believe that he's up on the scorecards. Yeah, I have it the same way. Really? 
enemies. He's gonna come forward this way. Keep that yap moving. Keep him away from me, all right? I need you to keep moving. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Come on. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Golden. He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches, but the more important half of the equation, he's way off the mark. Yeah, well, you know, you should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand. was for that hook. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's all over. Golden's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.